Have you ever heard of a wasp that eats meat? Officials say the western yellow jacket has been wreaking havoc on Hawaii's fragile ecosystem for decades. Jen Boniza has more on the carnivorous pest, including video of a wasp eating flesh. And it's not a pretty sight. Here on the island of Molokai, we got carnivorous bees. It's something you don't see every day a yellow jacket feasting on a deer carcass. My husband caught this carnivorous pest on video while hunting on a friend's property above Kaunakakai on Molokai last week. I was cleaning a deer with a friend and a, the bee landed on top of the deer that I was cutting up and started just going crazy on top of the meat. It's called Vespula pensylvanica or a western yellow jacket. According to the Department of Land and Natural Resources, they've been in Hawaii for over a century. But they became more common in the 1970s when they were introduced with a lot more frequency from refrigerated shipments of Christmas trees from the Pacific Northwest. They thrive in higher elevations, in cooler areas like Haleakala National Park on Maui and Hawaii Volcanoes National Park on the Big Island. King says both have been dealing with fluctuations in the western yellow jacket population for decades, with numbers usually peaking in September and October. Yellow jacket season is upon us, and you know, to be aware that they're there and that, you know, you want to be cautious is, is good. According to King, they nest underground and are attracted to sugars and sweets. And that's one reason that they bother people. Unlike a honeybee, they can sting you multiple times, which can be very painful and deadly for anyone allergic to stings. But it's their carnivorous predatory appetite that poses the greatest threat. They just take down our native biodiversity. They eat native moths and spiders and bees and flies. So they can have really sort of um, cascading influences in our native ecosystems. She says they are threatening native forests and Hawaii's watershed. The USGS and other agencies have used insecticidal dusts and beets to kill the wasps. And the Department of Agriculture works tirelessly every fall to ensure none of the pests hitchhike into the state on Christmas trees. Jen Boniz, KH12 News, working for Hawaii.